And here again, um, I just want to say a few words about the new uh, aquarium lid I got from Reef Tops. Um, they're on Facebook. Um, I'll probably have a link below. Um, yeah, so, yeah, and uh, first I'd like to apologize for the mess in the aquarium. So this is a, a Red Sea Reefer 250 uh, planted tank. And I had some disease problems recently and I had to do a lot of uh, water changes. And those completely ruined my nutrients balance. So uh, it's algae everywhere. But yeah, it still looks kind of okay. And not the focus of what I'm going to show you today. So this is the mesh top um, lid. Ah, pretty good in focus. Um, so this is pretty thick. Uh, acrylic and it sits actually on top of the the glass perfectly square so you almost don't see it from, from the front. It does diffuse a little bit of light um, so there's a noticeable difference to how it was before but <laughs> it saves my fishes from jumping out so that's all good. So you have lots of customization options basically with that thing. Um, I went for the kind of standard layout uh, with two feeder cups and a custom cutout for the uh, focus for the CO2 uh, permanent test. Right, another custom option that I went for, um, so I feed a lot of uh, flaked food. Those cups are usually for, um, for frozen food. Let me show you the original. So this is the frozen food cup. Cup, um, and I basically went went for one. So that was my idea, but it works really well. Basically, no bottom. That way, the the fishes can get to the food immediately, and it doesn't float off in the in the skimmer. So let's see. It's actually a good show, probably. Once they notice there's some feed in there. Um, so there's a second slot for the for the other cup. Uh, I'll probably only use this one. Center access hatch, quite nice. So you see, the acrylic is quite thick, but it's still very flexible. But yeah, that doesn't really matter. I'm not putting anything on top of that. The main point, it's mesh. Uh, it doesn't really block a lot of light and it doesn't need cleaning constantly. So yeah, I really like it. Oh yeah, the fish is going wild. So as you can see, the fishes have access into the tube. And yeah, it's actually a good show. I would have made it a little bit shorter, but it works. And you see there's absolutely no, no feed going into the drain. It's all under the surface. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they really like going for that. <laughs> right. So, and which kind of brings me all to the only really negative point to those lids, um, and that's the uh, finish of the CNC cuts. So the bottom of this cup was a very, very sharp sewn off um, finish. And if I had left it that way, the, the fishes would have injured themselves immediately. So I ran a knife along, all, uh, along the edges and deburred them a little bit. And this is pretty much what you have to do with all the edges. They're all very, um, very rough and and sharp. That is really not great. Uh, another thing that I don't like so much. So uh, maybe you see a uh, flashing still on. Uh, one thing is the kind of frosted finish that the milling leaves. Um, it's probably difficult to avoid, but. It would be so much nicer if it were actually um, a little bit smoother. I tried to actually flame polish it, but the finish is too rough to even um, take any polish. So I'd have to probably take a very fine file onto that, which I'm probably not going to do. But yeah, it, I like it. It's, it's a perfect solution for this type of aquarium, um, pool type. and. Yeah, I, I really like how it sits on top and visually almost disappears. Cool, that's mm. it. Oh, sorry, one last look. Uh, shut up, bye. 
there's another modification I would say anyone buying those lids should do immediately is um, take the burr of those those edges here. If the fishes go into a feeding frenzy, they will they will almost certainly cut themselves on that. So basically, again, just take a knife, run it along the edges, take the burr off. It doesn't look brilliant. I messed it up a little bit. I don't know if the machining process maybe run a V bit along the edges, probably a little bit nicer than than my attempt of deburring it. But yeah, that that's really important. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's super sharp.